All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. Hey, is anybody interested in a $70 Dirk Pinkerton designed chunker in G10 contoured and ARRPM9 for 70 bucks? Yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, me too. And this guy right here comes by way of a White Mountain Knives. Uh, this is, wow, I can't find my dirt, my uh, White Mountain Knives sticker. But anyway, uh, there it is, uh, White Mountain Knives. And uh, you guys know I'm an affiliate over there, and I'm also a goofball. And you can get 10% off with code KNIVESFAST to check out. This is the Knives Fast channel. Check it out. Subscribe, notification bell, and check me out over on Instagram as well. Well, let's move these stickers off to the side, and thank you, White Mountain Eyes, for sending this. Now, like I said, this is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Now, you guys know I love his knives. They tend to be on the chunky side and sometimes on the tactical side, which this one's really not. Uh, but, yeah, please. So, you have flat G10, but then you have these crazy lined chamfers guys and the chamfers end up creating a very nice contoured scale now you do have a uh a, a blah, screws drilled for a left-handed clip you do have a lanyard slot drilled all the way through here and you have barrel spacers and again the chamfering is nice now you do have a bent uh pocket clip here and i think that is really cool now was this the one that came Hold on, I'm trying to remember if this is the one that came with the extra clip. Uh, I have had so many knives uh, come through here lately. My brain, yep, so this one comes uh, with the extra clip. And the reason I thought that and the reason it is is because you can see the clip is bent. And if you turn that around, it'd be bent the wrong direction. So you have a clip for the left-hand side um, included inside. So if you are lefty, they have got you uh, taken care of faux show so very cool knife and i'm dropping everything all over the floor uh very very well thought out by cjrb so again it's called the resource uh very nice clip good in and out of the pocket it is not uh a deep carry are you really going to be grumpy lighting i thought we i thought we finally got this to where we were on the same page there we did all right so not a deep carry loop over uh, but that's fine so your screws are mushrooms but they are not underneath clip is good in and out of the pocket and it is reversible now thumb studs and a fuller are your opening method and for those of you wondering how the action is there's your answer uh, the detent guys is fantastic uh, both for the flick which this is a big chunky blade uh, so you would think oh well maybe i can't get it out there with the flick uh, you definitely can really nice bead blasted in here and it just reacts very well you do have a flat grind st uh, stone wash you have all your information there how cgrb always does your D dirk pinkerton logo um, your model number, your, your AR RPM9, and over here, CGRB. Really nice. Uh, I love their thumb studs. You can see kind of polished on the end there. Really cool looking. And guys, if you want a fuller that like covers the vast majority of this knife, right up to the point that the tip starts to narrow, the fuller comes way out of here and then it starts to narrow. That is cool. So you've got room to get way out here and middle finger flick. You can get back a little bit further and middle finger flick. Heck, you can middle finger flick the studs. Can you? Hold on. I said you can, but maybe you can't. Yeah, I can't. So we'll just stick with the fuller, uh, which works for me. Now, um, and again, your thumb studs work fantastically well. And you can see it drops and it shakes. Very nice. We are... Uh, dead centered there. Yeah, I'm still fighting the allergies. Uh, yeah, no lock rock, no blade play. Locked up very nicely. I'll call that like a 15 to 20 there. Now your access to your lock bar is really good and you got a nice chamfer, chamfer there. I keep trying to decide and I think there is a slight bit, yeah, tiniest little bit of lock stick. And I think, um, you know, I've cleaned the lock face a couple of times. 
Um, and there still just remains the tiniest, just, and you know what, it doesn't really bother me. I'm being super nitpicky. Uh, it definitely isn't bad. Now, in hand, hello, uh, nice swell right in the middle of your palm. Great uh, jimping here. Very, very nicely done. And guys, I'm getting a work call, so I will be right back. Yes, I know. Well, I don't exactly know where I left off, but yeah, I mean, just, it is a four finger knife all day long. Uh, you do have a nice, uh, you know, kind of guard and a, a back end of the handle and you have a great swell here. Now I do feel this clip right there. Uh, it is not, uh, it is not at all, not even close, uh, to being a hot spot. And again, the chamfers here are really nice. You got this great jimping and it is a cutter uh and let's just show that so uh you can see here that was me uh you, you, gosh kc see this is what happens when i'm looking through a camera trying to cut so we're gonna look out here um and i'm still doing a terrible job but you can see it is a slicer for sure and it does definitely uh penetrate as you can see yeah just shove it right through and it will cut right out so uh really really cool uh knife to say the least let me wipe that blade now because i've got goop all over it cardboard is so much fun um but i use it anyway because i love it uh cool stuff and now i have cardboard uh laying everywhere but just a cool size and shape knife in my opinion now uh let's do our fun uh comparisons here's your ontario rat one which looks tiny compared to this knife guys this is a big big knife and um there is your rat two you can see the rat one is smaller the rat two is way smaller and there you go so very very cool uh i really really dig this one all right so let's put it up here and let's go through now i'm looking at this at white mountain knives uh because that's where it came from and guys you can get 10 percent off uh, with code knives fast at checkout. Now I see a gray G10 handle like this and a black uh, wash blade for $69.99, a red G10 and a black wash blade for $69.99, a green G10 and stone wash blade for $69.99, and this one for $69.99. And they all appear to be in stock at the time of this recording. Now it is 9.14 inches overall so this is not a tiny knife uh, it is a pretty large knife as a matter of fact 4.18 inch blade 4.18 inches i love it uh and a 0.13 uh stock here blade stock uh and again i like how it comes down nice tall flat grind comes down really nice and the tip narrows in for piercing as i showed uh it is a drop point with a stop yeah, stone wash finish uh gray g10 handle and uh they do not give me uh the weight so we're gonna slide this a little bit and i'm gonna going to get my scale i'm kind of surprised white mountain usually always has uh the weight maybe they don't want me to know i'm gonna say 5.4 all right and you're not gonna be able to see this Oh, I was way off. 6.07, so just over six ounces. But again, uh, not bad for the size. Again, it's over a nine-inch knife. Uh, it is pretty, uh, carries pretty well. Again, you do have about that much sticking out, but not too bad. Uh, very cool knife, to say the least. Now, $70 for AR RPM 9 steel and uh, G10. It contouring and everything, slide this back over, uh, is pretty good in my opinion. Um, let me know what you think of that down below if you agree with me or, uh, you know, what do you think? So let me know. Give me your comments, guys. What do you think of this knife? Uh, definitely check out the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Check out White Mountain Knives. I'll have a link down below. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.